Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfrey. This is episode two. I've already done episode one. Guys, I say this month of May, I'm dropping 60 videos. We have already done one video. So guys, this being episode two, I want us to look on GBP USD. And you see, when a monthly candle closes, because we're in a new month, it's past May. I need to do a top-down analysis before even I come to teach you. Because from top-down analysis, we can get a free signal. So let's do this GBP USD. If you have not done, if you have not watched the other video I did on Audio USD, I have done that video and you can go watch it. So let's get into this video. So GBP USD, whenever you want to do a top-down analysis, of course, you'll start from monthly time frame. So, guys, from monthly time frame, I don't know if you have ever noticed that GBP USD has a double bottom, has a possible double bottom with a price market that happened way, way back. Like we were never born. Like for me, I was not even born. So there is this market here on Friday 1st, Feb 1985. So I'll put two lines here. You see some things that happen in the market and you don't pay attention. This is what happens. If you don't pay attention, this is a very clear uh, double bottom. Guys, can you see? I'm not faking it. I'm not forcing it. GBPUSD, even if you don't want it, it is there and it cannot change. GBPUSD has a possible double bottom and this possible double bottom seems like it is still working and it is still being used by the big bank. So if you're trading GBPUSD, anything sell, be careful because on the long term, when we are looking at GBPUSD long term, we are seeing a buy market. So pound might be gaining more strength in the time in the days to come because the overall like the overall take profit of that double bottom uh it is uh the market is supposed to go at 1.5757 from where the market is guys from where the market is um let's see from where the market is uh 577 is 3207 pips i'm not saying that it will take one day one week one month no it can take even years for the market to hit 1.5771. All I'm just saying is that don't assume I'm talking about this possible double bottom and it will be a double bottom whenever they break here. So if they manage to break this point of 1.5757, if they manage to break that point, trust me, they are going to 2000. So at this moment, we can only uh, trade a lower time frame with the data that you're being given and we'll prefer buying than selling because we know if we sell, we might get ourselves in trouble. So now we know that GBPUSD has a possible double bottom. What is, what is the next thing that we can see? We can see that the price action, I told people that you always check three things, price action, market structure, and forex pattern. Price action is the candle. How did the candle, how did the previous monthly candle close? And you can see that we had a very strong resistance. Guys, can you see? We had a very strong resistance and the monthly candle, the April monthly candle broke that resistance. What this means is that the buyers have more power. So even if it is go to, even if you can just measure this ranging, this ranging, it is called one candle ranging. One candle ranging, if at all, it breaks. This is one of the secrets. If you get a one candle ranging, one candle ranging, it means one candle following each other, following each other, it is the ones that are ranging. And I will be doing that in a more detailed video. What this means is that once the market breaks a ranging, a one candle ranging, because we, we have different types of ranging that I talk on my mentorship program. So once the ranging is done, the market will go. It is on a mission to go to the next distance. So this market is on a mission to go to 1.3071. From where the market is right now to that distance is 519. So most probably, guys, and we'll come back here on the the month of June 1st, and we'll be looking at GBPUSD and we'll try to see what it did do. Mostly, first June, when you're analyzing this market, the candle, this candle will have touched that zone, most probably. So we might not, I'm not saying it is a must, but I'm saying most probably, because 
Once the ranging, one candle ranging is broken, there is nothing to prevent this market to go to the next level. And I've given you that the market has been ranging for how many months? One, two, three, four. Four months, the market was not able to move forward. So this is a very, very strong ranging and it has broken. Trust me, it will go to 1.3071. Again, we can even count half of that ranging to see the first take profit because in such cases, we have take profit one and we have take profit two. So take profit one will be 1.2753. From where the market is, from where the market is up to where the take profit one is 180 pips. So from the monthly perspective, this is a very, very strong buy. This is a very, very strong buy. Let's go to weekly and see what we have. Don't forget that GBPSD has that double possible double bottom and it can be as powerful as possible. So this is the weekly time frame, guys. And you can see we had this ranging. And not only the ranging now, like the monthly, we can have a pattern that we call cap and hand, uh, not cap and hand, uh, head and shoulder. So you can see they have a, the head and shoulder. So the market came back and it has broken the neckline. So the inverted head and shoulder still promote what? A buy. So weekly time frame still supporting a buy. Monthly supporting a buy. So there's nothing much we are about to do. Even if you can check monthly here, we had a double bottom. Can you see guys here? These are very strong double bottom. And from the monthly perspective, anytime you have a double bottom, what, what do you expect, guys? If the market breaks the neckline, that market will cover that distance. And that's why we are saying that this market, GBPSD, is a strong buy. When you go to daily time frame, when you go to daily time frame, the same double bottom that you are seeing on the, on the weekly, it is this one. So let me remove the box. So this is the double bottom. This is the famous double bottom we are seeing. And remember on monthly, we have the huge double bottom. So we have that double bottom and the double bottom, it is clear we have broke. Not only once, like this zone has been tested quite a while. So the first take profit is coming to 27. So the question is, yes, we know GBP USD, it is a buy. How do we get on this market? Once now you have a clear indication that GBP USD is a buy. We use four hours, not for analysis, but for our entry. So we use four hour for entry a reason. So let me show you how you can enter and enjoy GBP USD. So whatever you do, this market has created, um, you can see the market broke. We can see that break. So buyers are seeming they are very more, they are very strong. So we can see that the market broke and now it is going on a retracement. How do we know that this retracement is over? If this market, like if buyers come and break 2568, guys, the only way you can enter this market is they break 2568. So if the next candle, because this is the current market, if the next candle breaks like that, you get an entry, you can enter the trade and then you can target up to 27 guys, if you want. You can target 50 pips, 100 pips, whichever pips you want. But the entry is this market to break 25.68. What if guys, we get a red candle? So if at all here, we can get a red candle. Let's say after that green candle, we get a red candle like that. Or the only thing you do, you will change your current resistance because guys, the reason why we want this market to break there so that you can enter, is because we are working with current resistance. So these are some of the things that I teach in my mentorship program. And by the way, class of May, it is it is starting on 8th May. So if you want to join my mentorship program where I will teach you in details, kindly WhatsApp me, leave your, leave your comment and I'll get back to you. So current resistance is, is here, but what if in the next candle it is red? We'll just shift our current resistance to be that place. So this shall be a current resistance. And then we shall wait for buyers to break there. And even if we get a green candle again, followed by a red, we will keep reducing our current resistance until when it will be broken. For now, I cannot reduce it. It will remain here. And the only thing now we are waiting is this candle to break that current resistance for us to have a buy market. Guys, I hope you will enjoy this trade of uh, GBP USD. 
don't worry, we just need to be told, go ahead by uh, four hour. Once they break here, trust me, we are going all the way. We are going all the way to 27.50. This market, if they break here, this market is going all the way to 27.50, 187 pips. So guys, just be patient. Don't enter right now because this market has a potential of doing retracement. It can come here. It can come here. It can drop all the way just to do retracement, remove all those who entered early, hit those stop losses, and then comes up. So I've given you GBPUSD analysis. Guys, I am so, so willing to drop the next 58 videos because in this month, I have said I will be dropping two videos every single day. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you. I love you so much. I hope you have taken out DSD trade and you will manage this GBPUSD trade and you'll be alert whenever the opportunity will come you'll be able to execute. Thank you so much. And I love you. Bye-bye.